Are you searching stable Android 10 ROM for Asus Info Max Pro M1? Then you are at the right place. Hey guys, I am Shubham and welcome back to the YGS Technical. First of all, flash the Android 10 supported TWRB recovery. The link is given in the description below. This TWRB recovery won't work on Android Pie based ROM, so if you want to flash an Android Pie ROM, then you have to install the Android Pie based TWRB recovery. So here I will select my recovery, just to click on install image, select your TWRB recovery, click on recovery and just to flash it. So after flashing it successfully, you have to reboot to the recovery once again. Now here I booted into the TWRB recovery successfully. So just to click on the cancel button. And now we will flash our ROM. So first of all click on the wipe button. Click on advanced wipe. Select the cache, data, system and vendor partition and just to wipe it. So after wiping all those partitions successfully you have to install the ROM. So click on the install button. Select the ROM. So here is the ROM. This ROM is downloaded by Sagar. And uh, flash it. This is the first stable AOSP based Android Q ROM. So special thanks to Sagar for creating this ROM for us. It will take 1 to 2 minutes and it's done. So now go back. And go into the mount section. And tick the system underscore mount. Retick it again and uh, also tick the vendor. Now we are ready to flash the gaps. So just to click on the install, click on bit gaps and uh, flash it. If you don't flash these gaps, then you have to face the issues of uh, contact sync. So I recommend you to flash these gaps along with ROM. And now uh, everything is done, you just have to click on the reboot system and do not install. So guys we have successfully flashed the Android 10 ROM on our Asus Zenfone Max Pro M1. So here I will go into the Android version. So here you can see the Android version is 10 and the security patch is the latest security patch that is September 5, 2019. You can just click on the Android version 10. And this is the Android 10 ROM. I will uh, show you how to create the Android Q. So just adjust it here and uh, here is Android Q. Now let's check whether the old and fingerprint is working fine or not. Dial 198 and try it on you. And yeah, old is working fine. Here you can see. Now let's check the fingerprint is working fine or not. Go into the security. And here I can add the fingerprint. Click on fingerprint. Fingerprint plus pin. Add the pin. Whatever you want. And yeah, bingo, here we're done. So fingerprint and world is working fine in this ROM. So you don't have to worry about those uh, main features. And yeah, fingerprint is working smoothly. <laughs> now let's see the top features of Android 10 one by one. Let me know your favorite feature in the comment section and don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. So first feature is the dark theme, just enable it. And you can see here, everything is turned into the dark. You may have seen in the previous Android version, the location is always turned on after opening some apps. So this problem is somewhat resolved in Android Q. If any one of the app is running in the background, then location will automatically turn off for that particular time. I just love this feature. The next feature is about the gestures. So click on the setting, go into the system and click on the gestures. And the first one is a jump to camera. So if you press the power button two times, then it automatically jumps to the camera. And uh, here you go. And next is the system navigation. So this is the Android O navigation. 
this is android pie navigation and uh, this is the newly invented android 10 navigation so here if you swipe up then uh, you will get the recent tabs so yeah here it is and you can go back from uh, both sides And this feature is what something interested and I am looking for. That is privacy. Now your privacy is on the top priority in the Android 10. You can allow and disallow the permissions of apps. This feature makes the Android 10 something different. One of the well known feature digital well being. But I heard there is one feature of focus mode is added into the digital well being in Android Q but I do not see it here so basically the focus mode allows you to select the apps on your phone that you consider to be distracting so the next feature is accessibility so there are some features are inside the accessibility and also the dark theme is uh, moved inside the accessibility you can also get the dark theme into the display option you can change the font size and display size also in the accessibility and there are some options like D-Bell timing I seen it the first time and uh, mono audio the next feature is expandable volume bar so this feature is missing in the android band it's added into the android queue thanks for watching this video and don't forget to like subscribe and share